Ma'am, it says here you were born in 1908. That makes you 45 years old. That's right. Adeline Marie Bowman was born on January 1st, 1908. Many years later, she would begin a family of her own. On a cold winter night in 1935, Adeline's life would change forever. In that moment, something incredible happened. Its effect was almost magical. Adeline Bowman will henceforth be immune to the ravages of time. She will never age another day. A lot of people complain about getting older. Yes. They're scared of it. And in this film, it's, you see that it can kind of be a curse, you know, yeah, eternal um, youth. For Adeline, it means a, a very solitary life because um, Adeline is a woman who miraculously doesn't age. And uh, because of that, she, she, she feels like she needs to stay on the run because otherwise she's afraid she'll be turned into some, some medical experiment or something. Right. It means that she, she can never really attach herself to anyone and it also means that she'll outlive all the people she loves and eventually even very likely her own daughter, you know. So it's, a, it's, a, it's actually the fountain of youth. Yeah. It turns out to be birth. Yeah, and I mean, when audiences watch this, they'll get to see just how much of a blessing it is to be able to grow old with someone, but in your opinion, yes. what do you think is the most valuable thing to get to grow old with someone you love? I mean, you know, people always ask you, like, so what, is, what does love mean to you, or how do you know that you found love or something? Yeah. And, um, I think uh, if you meet someone and you know, you look at that person and you think, okay, I think I would love to grow old with you. Yeah. That's when you know it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so obviously, uh, Adeline, she goes through, she lives through almost like eight decades. Yeah, she does. And um, just if you were in her shoes and you had to live through all those years, which decade do you think you would have enjoyed the most? Oh, God, it's so hard, but I would probably go for the 60s. Yeah, why? Um, because of the music, mm -hmm. you know? I kind of felt like uh, for a long time I thought I was born too late. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, my musical preferences go towards that period. If I could go back and watch Jimi Hendrix perform live, I'd be a very happy man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and I really did enjoy all the scenes with you and Blake. Just you two had such great chemistry, and Thank Ellis you. really brought a lot of comic relief to the story. But did you have a favorite scene that you got to shoot with her? Mm -hmm. God so hard. I mean, talk about the comic relief. I always love that scene in the park when I'm yeah. telling, where I'm telling a bad joke, yeah. you know, and I love the way she responded to it. And she doesn't want to laugh, but she can't help herself. And I, I thought it was very well written. And, um, another moment that comes to mind is when she says, uh, when she, she's at my house and, you know, the night is heating up and like, she says to me, uh, tell me something um, I, I can hold on to forever and never let go. Or something I've never heard before, I can hold on to forever yeah. and never let go. Or something like yeah. that, right? And, and then, you know, my character just has the great answer, you know. He says, let go. Yeah. Uh, I know, that was really romantic. I yeah, I thought scene. so too. <laughs> and it's like such a, you yeah. know, such a, so much fun as an actor to, yeah. to play those kinds of scenes. And, and that is a big reason why I like this film is just that the romance. It was just so, it was moving. I even, yes. I honestly teared up a few times because it was, it was just that great. But do you have another... Great. <laughs> uh, do you have another film that maybe you liked the couple's romance and it kind of gave you that effect? God, I, I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, you know, one of the things about this movie mm -hmm. Is that I think in a good way it has a certain old-timey feel to it, yeah. you know, like a classic Hollywood romantic movie. So, um, you know, as inspiration, I watched a couple of uh, Cary Grant movies, you know, yeah. where it's also always this, you know, these two people and the banter back and forth. Yeah. And, um, so I, I hope that we've 
achieved some sort of that, you know, that, that sensibility or mm -hmm. that, you know, that thing. Yeah, definitely. No, that's what I liked most. I loved your banter with her. It was just, yeah, you all played off each other really well. <laughs> right, and I, and I thank you, and I thought that it's one of the reasons why I was false for this woman, you know. I think uh, he's a young, successful entrepreneur. He has it all, you know. Um, has had, uh, I'm sure there's been a lot of women in his life, yeah. but then he meets her and he's never had a banter yeah. <laughs> like that uh, mm -hmm. with, with any woman before. Right. You know, she's, she's different, she's yeah. special. I'm Alice, pleasure to meet you. I'll just wait with you. Thank you, but I'll manage. Wait. How do we get in touch? First time I saw you, I knew I had to meet you. I didn't know when or how, but I knew I would. How is this possible? All these years, you've lived, but you've never had a life. I don't know how. Tell me something I can hold on to forever and never let go. Let go. I've been running for so long. That line. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> 